So today this makeup look turned into a fall inspired makeup look. It was not what it was supposed to be, but that's kind of what happened. So if you like this look, please continue to watch. Thanks. Um, so let's get started. To just start off, we're gonna use the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Lid Line Lash. Looks like this. And burnished bling and then I take that and I put a little dot on my hand um, I kind of like wipe off the excess from the tip and just put it on my lid and then I'm taking um, this brush which is like a dome crease brush it's a synthetic brush i'm pretty sure this is an it brush but i don't really remember and i'm kind of just buffing this out and then i'm taking the morphe nb12 and i'm taking this shade on a 503 brush and it's like the same tone as like the liquid eyeshadow so i'm just buffing out the edges and then i'm taking the really dark burgundy shade on an e18 brush i'm putting quite a bit oh i'm also actually i mixed these two together and put that out here i'm gonna take the m03 again and buff everything together we are doing the eyeshadows first strictly because we are doing a wing and it's a lot easier to clean up the wing and make it like this sharp point if you don't have any eye makeup on i'm sorry any face makeup on I'm blending all of that out and then i'm taking this the top yellow and blending so we're kind of working backwards than what we've been doing previously and then I'm taking some of the extra that's on my hand and that it cosmetics brush and kind of just sweeping that back on to get the metallicness that you might have lost from putting on all the powder shadows and then I put my eyeliner on I'm using the Voluminous Noir from L'Oreal. And then we'll clean that up. It's not the worst. Could be worse. Could be worse. Then I'm gonna take the glitter side and just paint that on kind of in the middle. And I'm taking that IT Cosmetics blending brush and just keeping it under the crease. And then I'll take the Velvet Noir and just clean up any sparkles that fell on there. And that's it. Today for foundation, we're gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. One of these days I'll get good at doing wing eyeliner. It's it's definitely not a skill that I like keep in my back pocket. It's not like, oh, you know what I can do? A really good winged eyeliner. Like I don't tell people that. I've had people ask me to do their makeup and can you please do a cat eye? And I'm like, no, no, I can't. Um, it's, I keep on, or this is the second tutorial that I'm doing one and um, it's just because I'm trying to push myself to do stuff that I'm not necessarily 
in my comfort zone, because why not try, I guess. Um, there's no harm in trying. It is just makeup. It does just wipe off if you don't like it. It's pretty easy to fix. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me in a uh, fair. And I'm just highlighting all over. And guys, I'm gonna apologize if I seem a little weird in this video. I've been in like a little bit of a funk today. Had a weird day. Interesting stuff happened. Started off um, with my neighbors. Um, I'm switching to a beauty blender. I think beauty blenders, I think blend out concealer a little bit better than brushes. Um, I guess my neighbors had a party last night, which is fine. I'm not upset. It's not like I'm mad because they didn't invite me. You, it's a Friday night. You should have a party. Go ahead and have a party. And it's not that I could hear them, and that's what kept me up. My dog could hear them. And I guess they had a really crazy party because it was the dog kept barking until about four o'clock in the morning. Which is fine, it's hard to be mad at a dog that's supposed to be a guard dog for barking. But I will say, mommy was not happy. I'm glad that he's sleeping right now and loving his life. I'm gonna take this little fluffy brush and I'm gonna just set underneath my eyes using my Makeup Revolution and that yellow powder that we used last time. Um, I will say this brush is a lawn comb brush. I did not buy it myself. I don't know what it's called. I got it as a Christmas present. I just, I really do like it. It's very fluffy. Um, and I am gonna set the rest of my face too because I will say this foundation is a little bit tacky. A little bit tackier than what I like to feel on my face. I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder and a big fluffy brush and just very lightly set the rest of my face. Just because I don't like to touch my face and feel it tacky. But I do like this foundation. I think it looks really pretty on and it's like $5 maybe. It's uh, actually fairly, even for the drugstore, an inexpensive foundation. Next we're gonna do and we're gonna do our eyebrows and with the L'Oreal Definer Pencil. I know everyone's probably sick of me for using this one again, but it's it's kind of my favorite. Um, before this, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I've ha tried other drugstore stuff, but it just does not work as well as that one did. I think I like this one just as much and it was probably half the price if that I don't really remember so I had some crazy neighbors last night which is fine everyone has some crazy neighbors and then I get up this morning because my car has been recalled and I need to get my car fixed so that way I can have a passenger in my car without me worrying that I'm going to kill them. Um, I'm gonna use a Essence Make Me Brow and just add a little bit more defi definition to it. I wasn't really caring because it was just me in the car. Um, I never really had passengers in the car, but my sister and both sisters and my friend are coming out next week and I don't, if we are, gosh forbid, in an accident, I'd prefer not to kill them. And my airbag might deploy and shoot metal shards out at the passenger, um, which is no good. Like That's not good for anybody. So I go to go get that fixed and tell them, you know, my VIN number before I get there and all of that and everything's great and they're like, yep, just show up, here you go. And I get there 
and I give them my VIN number and they're like, oh, by the way, your car is a salvage title. Um, I'm gonna use the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara to set everything in place. And I was like, no, it's not. Cause I've had salvage titles before and it did not work out well for me. Um, that car was in the shop constantly breaking down and I was like, I'll never again have a salvage title. And they're like, no, your car's a salvage title. I was like, since when? And they're like, since um, October of 2015, which I bought the car in September of 2015. And I for know for a fact that I've never been in a car accident. I'm gonna use this color and carve out my cheekbones a little bit. And I learned from last time that these are fairly pigmented, but they do blend out really nice. So just use a nice, nice light hand. And I think that it's nice to have a little bit of a sculpted cheek when you're doing a sculpted eye. We're gonna bronze our face a little bit. I'm gonna use the palette again and I'm gonna use like a slightly darker, warmer shade and I'm gonna use that. And I'm going to do it again lightly because I haven't tried it before and I don't want too much. Anyway, so I get there and they tell me, you know, your car is a recall title. I'm like, that's really strange because I would never bought it if it was a recall title. I'm like, so since when? And then they, they show me and it's since I bought the car. And I was like, no, that's impossible because I know I've never been in a car accident with, I mean, this car. And so now I have to figure out how to make my car not a recall title. And I know like it's not on the actual title, but like now the dealership says that it is. I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna like affect it later. Um, it's really pretty. Uh, so I have to figure out how to deal with that. You know, like, cause I don't have enough stuff to do. I'm gonna use the Revolution makeup in Beloved. Revolution blush in Beloved. Yeah, but like I don't have enough to do. Like I could just, you know, whatever. And of course they're not they're not open right now for me to get everything fixed. Like they're only open on weekdays and like it's just like I just need this done. Anyway, so they did fix my car, but then like they told me it was gonna take a while. So I was like, well, yeah, I'll go home. And then basically by the time I walked in the door, so I'm gonna use the Vivid Highlighter in Radiant Light. Um, they say, oh, it's gonna be a little bit, even though I had made an appointment, no big deal. I'm like, no big deal. I did it at a dealership, so they have a shuttle that will drive you there and back, and I'm like, no big deal. So they take me home, and I basically walk in my door, and I get a phone call. And they're like, oh, your car's done, so do you wanna come and pick it up? And I was like, can someone, can you, you send the shuttle back? And they were like, oh sure, no problem. Shuttle will call you when it's almost time for you, them to be there. And, or when they're coming on to get you. I'm using the CoverGirl uh, Perfect Point Plus in Deep Burgundy. And then I'm gonna take this color on a pencil brush, my E36, and run that underneath. And so then I wait like 45 minutes or so, and I'm like, I have another thing to do later on today. I can't just wait around all day for this car. And so I call them and they're like, oh, he's backed up, which is fine, like I get that too. I just wish I had known. So then I'm rushing over, I just get an Uber because Guess what, Uber's on sale this weekend. And I'm like, no big deal. And so I get an Uber and I get there and they fix the car. It was just like, it just felt very rushed today. I just feel very rushed. I feel like nothing's really working out and I just feel a little bleh. And that was really cute and I should do that more often. So then I'm just using an M43 Zero brush, which is just like a duo fiber brush and I'm just blending that out even more and a little bit lower down. 
So very grungy, very smoky. I kind of take it. It's easy too. Like that was pretty easy. I don't know. I think all of my, I always feel weird like posting this stuff because I'm like, uh, is this too easy? And I don't know if it is. <laughs> I really hope you can't hear my dog snoring. It's like a little, I can hear it and it's almost distracting. And I'm just using the Lash Paradise as usual. If you see me using a mascara that has a pink tip, it's probably this one. Um, I think this one is my favorite so far. Uh, it is great. Um, it really does remind me of the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I'm gonna use the Faux Mink ones from Ardell that I used in 812 again they're really pretty i'm gonna put them on and i will be right back and this is the finished eye look i'm gonna use the lip cream from sephora in shade 42. um i do like sephora's lip creams and like lipsticks they're really nice And then we'll clean that up. Mmm. Doesn't it just feel like home? Mmm. I like it. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you liked it. If you could, please click that like button and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. I black out sometimes when I buy makeup because I'm just like... Wah.